basically here's my plan for the intro for your class. I'm gonna be like, I suck at this and I need Brandon and here's me calling him <laughs> on this waveform and on this waveform and on this waveform. That's my plan and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna hand it over to you. So when I do that, because I have a couple now, two or three where I've called you in front of my class and you've walked me through it, I'll make sure that I get you those uh, images and then you can add that to your class or whatever talk about it and but that's awesome. that's kind of my plan I appreciate your time I know you're really busy go do your thing and and I'll talk to you soon um, I have a guy um, his name is uh, Brandon Steckler he is doing a class here at Rosedale Tech on May the 30th it's an eight-hour pressure transducer class um, which is the stuff that we're doing right now and uh, I highly recommend you guys attend this um, it's actually going to be open to the public, but we are most likely going to open it to Rosedale students as well. It's going to be on a Saturday. Um, it's an eight hour event and the guy that's about to call me, I just sent him this waveform because I need a little bit of help interpreting some of the data. I've been doing in cylinder pressure analysis for years, but it's still one of those things that unless you do it all the time and you see um, known goods, known bads, it, it becomes a little bit difficult to interpret some of these waveforms. I, I think I can walk you through some of it, but I kind of need Brandon's expertise here and I'm, he's gonna be calling me in a few minutes. That's Brandon right now, I'm not even ready for him. Well, we'll we, gotta, we gotta take this while we can, so. Brandon. Good afternoon, Mr. Danner. How you doing, How you buddy? I, I was hoping to um, show these guys some stuff before you called, but I don't want to keep you. So I just kind of want you to you to tell me what you see, and then I'll I'll just I'll pick up uh, from there what these guys are missing. Like this is the first time they've ever even seen an in cylinder presser waveform, so I can cover all the the basic stuff with them. But in in particular, what I'm interested in, as it looks to me like as the number one cylinder is coming up on compression, I have a pressure rise in the intake um, that that tells me that that intake valve is not sealing properly. But I guess what I couldn't uh, explain is the dip in the pressure, like the pull right after that while that piston is still coming up on compression. And I'm wondering if that's a characteristic of this sensor. Like I was just messing around with it and when I blow on it, like I'll get a pressure rise, but then when I let off, it immediately gets a pressure dip and I don't know if that's what um, what's throwing me off in that. Probably one of the most important aspects of this waveform is the fact that you indeed included the relative compression amperage waveform because it's hard enough that we're gonna look at intake pulses. It makes it even harder that there's eight cylinders yes. pulling on the intake in 720 degrees. So to know which cylinder is my dead hole to start with is a tremendous benefit. So you've identified it to be number one. Of yeah. course, you've included in the green capture in cylinder for number one the guys will recognize i'm only zoomed in on one full event if i were to zoom out you can tell periodically compression goes up and then it comes down like something's poorly seen i've taken the pico rulers and i've spanned them from tower to tower and then i open up the rulers tab and i cut it eight different ways and why did i cut it eight ways because we got eight valve events exactly we've got eight cylinders contributing to that intake manifold so what what you've noticed is that uh, just before our suspect cylinder reaches top dead center compression, we see a visual increase in amplitude in the yellow trace, yes. indicating pressure has indeed increased in the intake manifold. Uh, I have added the purple cursors to simulate the four strokes of the engine. And what you'll recognize is the, the fourth purple cursor is 540. 540 is bottom dead center of the intake stroke. What I'm getting at is just after 540 is when the piston starts to head north towards the cylinder head. If you, if you look straight up, you'll see I've, drew, I've drawn with a green pencil the trend of the intake pulse trace. It oh. starts to trend up just after 540. Right. Yeah, go ahead. Yep, I see it. Yeah. What you have afterwards is exactly what you said, Paul, is that the characteristic of the delta sensor is to report change very, very accurately and rapidly. I compare that to like those paddle balls with the uh, elastic tether, the one that you can only get one or two hits with and then you, you throw the thing across the room. Yes. Yeah, the harder you hit that ball, the further it swings out and the further it swings back. So it's kind of like that. The further that trace goes one direction, the further back it's going to swing on the rebound. So that's what I, I think you've nailed it on the head. It appears to me from this capture that cylinder number one that you successfully identified is indeed leaking to the intake manifold. And some also may have the theory that as cylinder number one increases the crankshaft speed because it's low on starter load, the vacuum in the intake will increase from uh, whoever's intake pole it correlates with that 
Wait, so so it's the next me, the next cylinder probably involved there then you're saying an intake valve is opening somewhere in that downward area correct ah. correct so I, I think it's a combination of the two creating that characteristic well sweet man well i'll tell you what that's good enough for me for now and if you want whenever i put together my little intro which is going to be i suck at this here basically here's my plan for the intro for your class i'm going to be like i suck at this and i need brandon and here's me calling him <laughs> on this waveform and on this waveform and on this waveform that's my plan and then i'm going to i'm going to hand it over to you so when i do that because i have a couple now two or three where i've called you in front of my class and you've walked me through it I'll make sure that I get you those uh, images and then you can add that to your class or whatever, talk about it. And, but that's, awesome. that's kind of my plan. I appreciate your time. I know you're really busy. Go do your thing and, and I'll talk to you soon.